Welcome to this tutorial series on GameMaker Studio 2. In this series, we are going to work through the creation of a simple maze game, which is going to involve um, a few monsters, uh, a main character that can move around the maze and shoot um, some collectible objects and different levels. We're also going to have a scoring system and a live system, and uh, we're also going to have some user instructions and a win game and a loose a win screen and a loose screen. So. Um, the purpose of this tutorial series uh, is twofold really. You can either work through um, the tutorials one by one and create the game along with me, or if there's an element of the game maker that you're struggling with, maybe um, collisions or f uh, getting an object to, to fire a bullet, or what happens when a character hits a wall, then I I've tried to break this video series down into um, logical steps so you can dip in and out as you need. Uh, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is to show you, uh, I'll give you an idea of what you are going to be creating over the course of this video or over the course of this series. So let's have a quick look at the game and I'm just going to talk you through um, some things uh, that you're going to need to know about sprites, uh, objects, rooms, etc. So let's have a little look at the game. So this has already been coded, I've already worked on this uh, and this is the type of thing you're going to be creating. So again, I'm just going to run the game. And you can see the first thing that happens when I run the game is I'm greeted with a, um, a menu screen or a welcome screen, which gives the user some instructions and it says press enter to start the game. So I'm gonna press enter. And this is the first level. So there are three levels in this game. I'm not gonna show you all three levels, but you'll get an idea of, uh, of how this game works. So I have my main character here, my explorer, which can move uh, up, down, left, right, and diagonally, okay, on key presses. He can shoot. He shoots in the direction that he moved last. Okay, uh, you can see that I've got a scoring system at the top of the screen up here, uh, up there, and a live system by here. So when I lose a life, that will reduce, and when I shoot a ghost or collect a gem, my score increases. As you can see, 100 for a ghost. If I collide with a ghost, I lose a life. That takes me back to the start of the game. Um, you can also see on the screen that I've got um, a key, I've got um, my exit over here, which is padlocked. So I need to collect the key in order to get out of the, uh, get to, to get out of the level up, uh, up here. And I have some collectible gems over here. Okay, so to understand what's going on here, um, the characters that you see, what you're actually seeing on the screen is the sprites for the character. The, um, the actual characters are objects, and they, uh, so you can think of the sprites that, they, that you can see as a costume. So um, we're going to be doing lots of work with sprites, with objects, with um, rooms, with fonts, with sends, etc. And you can see on the left hand side, on the right hand side here, I'm going to close this down a second. You can see on the right hand side here that I have a um, an asset browser area. So let's look at each of these different areas in turn. So we've got an assets browser area here, which uh, is where all our assets are saved. So if I just show you the assets in this game, for example, I have sprites. So each of these things is an object that appears in the game. Um, they're the costumes, okay? So you can see I've got my explorer sprite that you saw. I've got my monsters, my three different monsters. I've got a red gem, I've got the wall. I've got a yellow gem. I've got um, a bullet somewhere as well. Uh, there's the bullet there. The thing, that's just a plain uh, a white square. I've got the exit. I've got a lock. So all of those things are sprites. Those are the costumes that the objects wear. So if I go up to my objects list, you can see that I've got um, objects now which have those sprites attached to them. So if I open up the Explorer sprite, for example, that's the sprite, okay? I'm gonna close that down. If I open up my Explorer object, this is the object that has the sprite attached to it, and you can see that attached to this object are all of the things that can happen in the game to do with the uh, with the uh, Explorer or my main character. So what happens when I press the left key, the up key, the right key, the down key, the space key? What happens when I collide with objects? Um, so there are lots and lots of different um, events that are attached to objects, and I don't want you to be con con uh, concerned about that. We're gonna go through those um, as we go through the tutorial series. They start off very easy, 
Um, and once you do them once, um, I think you'll find that um, you will have a pretty good idea of how to use them, uh, to reuse those particular um, events. We also have um, things like rooms. So if I open up the rooms, for example, there's my game room. I can see I've got three different game rooms, three different levels. So there's my first level. Okay, so I've, all I've done there is drag the objects onto the screen. And again, I'll, we will go through that. You don't need to worry about it. We have, um, that's level two and uh, level three. Okay, so we've got different levels. Um, when I create the game with you, it'll look slightly different to this because I'm not going to do the same sort of game uh, again. And I've got some wind screens and things like that. I've got some, um, if I can minimize these to, 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 so we get rid of some of this clutter. I've also got sounds. So we're going to look at creating a backing track for the, for the, for the game and uh, some sound effects. I've got um, some fonts, okay, which uh, are the fonts that appear on the, on the welcome screen at the start of the game. So that's the asset window. So in the asset window or in the asset browser area, that is where I have all of my um, um, assets for the game. So all my bits and pieces I need to create the game. I'm just going to open up one object because it's something I want to show you in a second. So I'm just going to select um, the Explorer object again. Okay. Um, across the top, we have a toolbar up here, um, and that allows us to um, to run the game or test it within the actual uh, Game Maker Studio itself. And I can stop running the game up here. Um, but we don't tend to use a massive amount of these objects apart from obviously the save and the load. Um, we have the menu bar that runs across the top, and again, um, we don't tend to use many of these menus at all. Um, there's no real need for, for what we for what we're using. And at the bottom here, we have an area where, um, if there's any errors in your code, it'll give you some ideas about where to start looking for the problems. That's called debugging. Um, what I do want to show you though is um, some of these uh, some of the ways in which you can use the mouse to manipulate objects. So I can make my uh, use my mouse to uh, to widen my um, my window if I want to I can scroll up and down of course I can click and I can drag around the screen okay uh, and it's important that you um, you're aware of how to manipulate this because if I open up a couple of objects okay as I open up uh, objects you can see that um, the um, the screen gets quite cluttered quite easily, so it's important that you be, uh, you're able to uh, to move things about um, like that and like that. So if I use the left mouse button and hold it down, I can click and drag uh, my objects around. If I use the thumb, if I use the control key in the thumb wheel, it allows me to zoom in. Okay. If I use the click on the thumb wheel, I can move all of the windows at the same time. Okay. So. Um, there's some tools there which we will use, and I'll, I'll recap those as we start creating the main element of the game. Um, so that really is, um, in a nutshell, what we're going to be uh, to do, what we're going to be doing, and some of the uh, the uh, the elements that we're going to use from Game Maker. So I just want to show you before we start how to create a new project. So when you open up. Um, Game Maker, this is what you're going to be greeted with. So we're going to do this as the start, as the start now of the of the tutorial. So um, we're going to create a new blank game. So I'm going to create a new game. There are two different op options here. You will not use drag and drop. This uh, this tutorial series does not uh, use drag and drop at all. Um, it'll be of no use to you going forward um, after your GCSE. Um, if you do decide to take A level, then there is a uh, um, in the new A level that's going to be coming out uh, in, next year or this year. Um, there is a uh, project on Game Maker, which is going to involve you uh, creating a more complex game, um, and you cannot do that with drag and drop. You have to use GML or Game Maker language. So in all of the videos that we that I use now, we will be using GML or Game Maker language. So I'm going to select Game Maker language. It asks you where you want to save your game. So um, I'm going to save it in this folder here. Um, I'm just going to get rid of that uh, instance of the game. And I'm going to um, call my game Yo. 
Where's my hat? Because that's what the game is called. And then I'm going to click save. Okay. And you can see now we have a screen that resembles the uh, other screen that I showed you uh, where we're going to start uh, creating elements for the game. So um, in the next video, we're going to be looking at sprites and how did we create sprites in, in Game Maker. So um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.